Battle of Corona, Death of Captain Cook, William Lyle Bowles The Tide of Fate Rolls On. Heart pierced and pale, the gallant soldier lies, less than sub greater than one, less than slash sub greater than not avail. The shield, the sword, the spirit of the brave, from Rapin's armed hand that veils to save, land of illustrious heroes, who, of yore, drenched the same plains with the invader's gower, stood frowning in the front of death, and hurled defiance to the conquerors less than sub greater than two less than slash sub greater than of the world. Oh, when we hear the agonizing tale of those who, feigned, and fugitive, and pale, saw hourly, harassed through their long retreat, some worn companion sinking at their feet, yet even in danger and from toil more bold, back on their gathering foes the tide of battle rolled. While tears of pity mingle with applause, on the dread scene in silence let us pause. Yes, pause, and ask, is not thy awful hand stretched out, O God, o'er a devoted land, whose veils of beauty nature spread in vain, where misery moaned on the uncultured plain, where bigotry went by with jealous scowl, where superstition muttered in his cowl, whilst o'er the Inquisition's dismal holds. Its horrid banner waved in bleeding folds. And dost thou thus, Lord of all might, fulfill with wreck and tempests thy eternal will, shatter the arms in which weak kingdoms trust, and strew their scattered ensigns in the dust? Oh, if no human wisdom may withstand the terrors, Lord, of thy uplifted hand, if the dark tide no prowess can control, yet nearer, charged with dread commission, roll, Still may my country's arc majestic ride, though soul, yet safe, on the conflicting tide. Till hushed be the wild rocking of the blast, and the red storm of death be overpassed.